Well, uh, I did Formula One for Fox 1998 to 2000 uh, with Derek Bell, fantastic driver and a great analyst. And we had the same 300,000 viewers nationwide every week. The rating never varied, whether we were on Fox or Fox Sports Net or, or however it was positioned. And it was very hard to grow out of that. Certainly Drive to Survive has brought a whole new audience uh, to Formula One, people that enjoy reality TV, people that enjoy soap operas, and racing is a soap opera, it's just, it's just different the way it plays out on a Sunday. But Formula One is a worldwide phenomenon, and it's, it's, I think it's completely different from NASCAR, especially in regard to the workings within the teams. Tony would know best because his partner has a Formula yeah. One team, but I think here, NASCAR is much more of an every man for himself or every driver for himself <laughs> than the structure of Formula One. And I think the one thing Angelinos get wrong about NASCAR is they think it's the same car every week. They think the driver is driving the exact same car, the exact same chassis of Daytona that he raced here, and all they did was change the gears, and he goes fast there and not so fast here. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. The other biggest misconception that everybody out on the 405 has is they could do this, no problem. <laughs> and that's not No, they couldn't. That's not my last was. night. <laughs> None of them could do this. They, no. they could barely drive in the damn parking lot. <laughs> Well, that was, that was quite driving in. But, uh, no, I want to, as someone who grew up in the South and, and live in California now, I, I think the other thing, and there is a stick, but this, this is not, NASCAR is not a regional sport. We know the roots, and we know historically where it began. But it has reached, and you can see, and it, it, the history of, of racing in California, maybe not at the highest uh, promoted level, but it's been here in, in, in the roots for years. And, and I think the variety of tracks and the exposure, of course, national television over, over here. In fact, if you look at where the best drivers come, right? We go through the states, they used to, you know, Carolina, Georgia, and there's still that ship. But now you have drivers from Las Vegas and California and champions of, of the sport. So it's not, and I, I think there is, and, and I see that in some other places around the country when we travel and do races, it just, again, it's changing and it's changing over time. But it's not a it's not a quick group. It's open to every, we all relate to our cars now, whether it's you know Uber or renting a car, or leasing a car, or, or you know a plug-in car. You know we connect with that, and that's what this sport should be about, no matter where the roots are from, and, and relate to a driver, and, and if, even if you don't connect with necessarily one of the manufacturers that, that you're that you're watching. I, I, I sense that here. Well, and to add to that, I think sometimes we always hear, "Well, NASCAR doesn't look like me. I don't look like those people that are there." And I think if you take a hard look at NASCAR now, the face of it is very different. I mean, you see women, you see us in all different roles. You look around how many women are in the media core. I mean, Josh Sims on board, we have Bubba. I mean, you have so many people. Look what Daniel Suarez has done. He won a huge race, a cup race in Sonoma here in California. And you see his legion of fans like, that's my guy and this is my sport. And it wasn't like that 15 years ago. We had the diversity awards last night. I mean, NASCAR has come so far, and I think that that is that preconceived notion that NASCAR isn't like me. But if you look now, it is, and that's why we're in a place like Los Angeles. That's the only thing. They didn't do anything wrong. Give us a try, and you'll like the product. Yeah. Yeah. This is tailored, made for you right here in this okay. market. You have action like the sports never had, a different format. We take a break and put on a, a concert, for crying out loud. I guarantee yeah. you I'll put my money up against this product versus anything F1 brings to the United States. <laughs> wow. On the racetrack. That's a challenge. Awesome. Uh, yes, sir. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the 56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those videos beside me visit runstretch.com for more racing content.